in the Tijuana neighborhood known as La Zona Norte, you don't have to look very hard to find people using drugs. On the sidewalk of a busy street, a man injects himself in the neck. Right around the corner, in the middle of a pile of garbage, another man shoots up. There are used syringes everywhere. When Tijuana police find syringes on someone, they typically break them apart or throw them in the trash. That's what they were taught to do. But these practices are risky. In fact, in a recent survey, 15% of Tijuana police officers said they've suffered a needle stick injury. Officer Jonathan Martinez says it's dangerous out here. Normally, we don't get courses in how to avoid becoming infected by syringes and other things. Until now, that is. A unique program is underway to change the way Tijuana police handle syringes and drug users. ¿Por qué se llaman picaderos? ¿O por qué les decimos picaderos? Exactamente. At the police academy in Tijuana, Sub-Inspector Cesar Quinones talks to a room full of officers about places where they're likely to encounter IV drug users, like shooting galleries. Quinones says many officers who enter shooting galleries wear gloves for protection, but many others don't. Next, Quinones shows a slide with statements about how HIV is spread. He asked officers to raise their hand if they think mosquitoes transmit the disease. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. A lot of hands go up. And as Quinones goes through his presentation, officers have a lot of questions. Dr. Eliane Bustamante gives him a little HIV 101. If I have contact of any kind with secretions like blood and semen from someone who's infected, I can become contaminated too. During a break in the training, Bustamante says she's surprised about the officer's lack of knowledge. They seem really interested on the topic, but there are several questions that I thought, oh, that's really obvious. But no, they seem really interested on the basic topics like what's HIV. Bustamante says what officers don't know can hurt them. By not knowing what is and how can I prevent it, they can easily get infected. During the training, officers learn how HIV is transmitted and how to handle needles safely in the field. They're told that federal law allows people to possess syringes without a prescription. The law also lets people carry up to 50 milligrams of heroin for personal use. The class introduces officers to the concept that drug users aren't scum. They're human beings who need help with their addiction. The trainings began in February. Eventually, the entire Tijuana police force will take the three-hour class. So far, about 300 officers have done so. Sub-Inspector Quinones says when he goes out in the field now, he sees officers acting differently. We've emphasized in the class that the most important thing is their safety during their shift, and we're noticing that they're changing and they're respecting the law about syringes. The training is the brainchild of UC San Diego's Global Division of Public Health. It's the first partnership between an American university and a Mexican police force. So this is what um, Comandante Madrid gave me uh, in partnership uh, with uh, our project. Division Chief Stephanie Strathy says research has shown that trainings can change officers' attitudes and knowledge. But nobody's ever studied to see whether or not it would change the behaviors of the police officers. And we'll be following 500 police officers in Tijuana over two years to see whether or not this intervention works. The status quo is clearly risky. The HIV rate among IV drug users in Tijuana ranges from 4% for men to 10% for women. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS News.